Hey guys, everyone, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how you can create your very own logo using Wix Logo Maker. So if you haven't heard about Wix Logo Maker, you can essentially create professional looking logos very quickly and doesn't really require you to have any kind of skill set in terms of graphic design. So you can easily create your own logo and use it for your website. Maybe you have a the t-shirt design you want to release, or maybe there's something else you want a specific logo for. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you watch the whole video throughout in order to understand how to use the tool and how to get started with Wix Logo Maker. With that being said, let's just jump into this tutorial and hopefully you guys enjoy. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you go to the link that I am currently on right now. It will be linked in the video description, but also in the comments of the video. And if you do use my link, I do get some initial kickback when you sign up for Wix. So I do appreciate it if you could use my link. I am providing this information for free and I'm not making really any money off this unless you perhaps use my link. Uh, so I do appreciate it if you could use my link down below. But with that being said, let's not talk too much about the links. Uh, the first thing you wanna do when you join on the Wix site or when you go to the actual Wix site is that you'll have this Pretty simple, easy enough uh, start now button. So what you want to do is just click on this button right here and that will open up a new window for you. Now, I already have a Wix account, but if you don't have a Wix account already, you will have to go ahead and sign up to make a Wix account. It's a quick and easy process, so it'll be fairly straightforward for you to do. Uh, but once you have that all ready to go, you will land on this page right here. So as you can see, I've already added one of my logos right here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is actually add a new one. So we can either click on the plus button right here where we have the blue button here at the top as well. Uh, I'm just gonna click on the blue button. It doesn't really matter where you click. Uh, but anyway, now the second step we'll have is choose how you want to create your logo. So we can create a logo ourselves, which definitely is a bit more advanced because it will obviously require you to actually build a logo yourself. Uh, but in the way that you build your logo, it's similar to the actual uh, website design tool that you have within Wix. So all you really do is just drag and do drop certain elements. You can add text elements, you can add icons to it. You can upload your own icons or change the text fonts. Whatever it is, you can do it all here. But you can also do hire a professional designer, which is essentially hiring someone from the Wix platform that will make the logo for you. Now, we obviously don't wanna hire a professional for this specific job. We want to do it ourselves within the actual Wix creator. So what we do is just go ahead and click on create a logo right here. Once we have clicked on create a logo, it will ask us to and, uh, enter a name. So enter a name of either your business or whatever you're trying to create a logo for. In this case, I'm gonna do, let's see here, uh, Petco. Let's say our, our company name is Petco, we're a local pet store. Uh, we don't have a tagline, so I'm gonna skip tagline, but you can add a tagline here if you want. In my opinion, taglines doesn't really look that good um, in, in, in logos anyway, so I wouldn't really recommend you to add it. But if you want a tagline here, uh, you can add it as well. Anyway, once that is done, you can just go ahead and click on let's go. And then they will ask you what your logo is for. So this will kind of just narrow down in terms of the logo designs they will get recommended. Uh, so just make them a bit more relevant to your business. Uh, so let's see if they have something about pet store. Uh, let's see, pet store, perfect. And then we can just go ahead and click next. If you don't find anything that's relevant to your business, you can just click on the skip button here at the bottom. So you don't have to worry if you don't find um, the right category for your business. You can just go ahead and skip. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and click on next. Now, how should your logo look and feel? In my opinion, I want my pet store to be a bit fun, obviously playful, and probably a bit modern as well. Now, this will all depend on what you like, and you don't really have to do this step either. You can click on skip, but this will just make the logo designs more relevant to your business. So now I'll just go ahead and click on next. Now Wix will ask you which of these logos you, you like the most. And so we'll just have a look here. Thinking from a pet store perspective, I do think that this one probably looks the best. Um, color is probably gonna be important and I don't want a round logo. I don't think that looks good. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do, I don't like either of them. Uh, for this one, I like this one the most. And for this one, I probably 
like this one the most. For this one, I like this one and that's it. So that will just give Wix some additional data in terms of what they should recommend you in terms of logo design. So this step, you can pick if you want your branding for specific for specific things, such as a website, business card, social media, and so on. Uh, this will just make sure that you get recommended logos that are relevant for all of them. In this case, I don't think it's super important, so I'll just go ahead and click on skip. Once that is done, we'll actually load up the, the actual logo editor itself. Uh, it says done, so let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have some initial logo designs recommended by Wix. So we have Petco right here. I don't like that one. I don't like that one, but we have a couple here to choose from. Uh, let's see here. So this one looks pretty good. I, I do like this one as well. Uh, let's see what else we got if we click on load on more. And essentially all these logos that you can recommend it, you can pick any of them and you can also replace the actual icon itself. So if you do replace the icon, it will update the icons for all of these logos on here. So what we can do is actually search for pet and let's see what we get. And I do think that I, th mm, I think this logo could be pretty well. Yeah, I think this looks looks fairly well. Um, now what you can do also once once you actually find a logo that fits your brand, let's say we want to go with, uh, let's see here, just for the sake of this video, let's just say that we go with this logo right here. Actually, let's go with the white one. Uh, what we can do is just click on customize on the specific logo that you'd like. And then once you're in the actual editor, you can see here that you have a lot of color options to choose from. So this will essentially just change the actual pattern of your logo overall. Um, so you can play around here, see if there's anything specific that you like. But you can also go in and click each element similar to what you do when you edit your Wix website. You can click on an element and then you can change the actual color of each individual element as well. So if I want this one to actually be red or if I want it to be, let's say orange or if I want it to be green, I can add it green. So I can do anything I want really here within the editor itself. Then in terms of the logo, I can also go ahead and change the size of the icon. I can also flip it. I can rotate the logo. So if I want it to be actually like, let's see here, maybe on the side a little bit like that. I can do all of this directly within the editor itself. I can add shadow to this low, to, to the icon itself. I can add blur to the icon. And then I can also do the same with the text. So for the text, I can change the font. In most cases, you probably already have a font that you use for your website or for everywhere else. So what you can do is actually try to find the right font that you're already using for your company just to make sure that it's a bit more streamlined uh, between the logo and your website design. Obviously, if your logo changes font, maybe you can just go ahead and change the font of your website as well. Uh, but in most cases, you already have a font decided, so you might wanna use the same one. And for the text as well, what you can do is also go ahead and change the color if you want. Uh, I'm gonna go back and actually change all of this to black. I think black will be fine. Maybe for the actual icon, we can go back and have it like orange. It has to stick out maybe a little bit. Uh, it's not super important, but we'll just have it as orange for now. Rotation, um, let's see, I think that's straight, that's perfect. And then obviously our text is black, so I do think that looks fairly well. Once all of that is done, this is essentially the logo I want. Maybe I want to change the font a little bit to more of a straight one, I think. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think that one looks better actually, so I'll keep that one. Um, then what you can do if you want to, you can also go ahead and add more icons. You can upload your own icons or you can find other ones that are already free directly from Wix. If you have your own one, you can upload that one. Or if you find one on the internet, you have the rights to use, you can upload that as well. Then you can add and play around with the icons. You can add more icons in here. So if I want two icons, maybe I want this poodle thing here on the side, I can add this here as well. And it's fairly easy to move things as well because you can see it aligns to the middle of the different items as well. So same with the middle here. There you go. Uh, but I don't want to keep this one, so I'll just click on delete and that will be gone. And then moving on, we have other, we have shapes as well. So you can add in shapes here. So if you want a, something square or a circle, for example, uh, let's say we want to add a line underneath this text. We can actually do it with this little square if we just make sure it's the right size. And then I'll change the color of this to black. 
And now you can see we kind of updated the design a little bit. Maybe we can do even do something like this. Maybe it doesn't look that good, but it's like something that you can play around with and just check for yourself what you like and what you want to create. Same thing goes with like, maybe we want to add something around here behind the actual uh, icon itself. And then we can right click to move backward. So that just moves it behind. And then we can change it to black. Okay, it looks awful, but <laughs> you can play around if you're a bit better or a bit more creative and spend a bit of time on it. Uh, you can figure out and create something that looks really, really well. Anyway, if we click on the arrow right here, we can see how our actual logo would look on a website. Really do like it. I think it looks good. If we go to the next one, we can see how it will look on Instagram as well. It looks fairly well. And then here is going to be our business card. It looks good. And this is, I'm not sure, a t-shirt. I think the color of my screen is a bit off. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. And once you're happy with the actual logo design itself, you can just go ahead and click on next in the corner and then you click on edit the logo or you can get it now. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on get it now. Now, keep in mind that if you get Wix premium, you do get a free logo with your website subscription as well. Uh, but if you're not a subscriber to Wix, you will have to pay, I think it's around $20, maybe $40 to get your actual logo in the uh, designs that you want. So obviously here, you'll have all the high resolution files that you need for your logo. You have all the ones in the right size for your social media. So 40 plus files precise for social media. So your Instagram logo, Facebook logo, Etsy logo, whatever it is, all of that is already resized for you. So you can easily just add it in and then it will be all done. Once that is done, just go ahead and click on get it now. And then you have your logo, you can use it for wherever you want and you're essentially ready to go uh, with your new logo design. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments as I do really try to answer as many comments as I can directly in the comments. If you want to, you can also follow me on my socials linked in the video description. And if you want to, you can join our Discord channel, which is free for everyone to join. It's a completely free channel to join. And the Discord channel is just like a private group for everyone on the channel to join in and discuss and ask questions, get support from other people from the channel on various things such as website design or marketing or whatever it is. All of that can be found within the Discord channel. But with all of that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.